today we will show you how to install a keyboard and a mouse wirelessly. First, take it out of the box. And as you can see, it already comes with some batteries, but you don't want to put the batteries in yet. We'll wait that until during the installation process. Okay, but your keyboard and mouse will come with a installation disc and a getting started manual, but the CD is pretty easy to follow, so we'll go ahead and put that in. Since you have inserted the CD into the CD-ROM drive, you will get a screen that will come up for um, to install the software for the keyboard and mouse. Click install. And this comes up with a license and limited warranty, and you would want to accept the agreement. And from here, I will let Ryan take over. All right, taking that out of the box. Next, it asks you to select which keyboard you have. And if you can't tell by looking at the box, you can always look on the back of the keyboard. And this one says Microsoft Keyboard Elite for Bluetooth. So the next thing you'll want to do is find that on here. Got it. And hit next. Same thing for the mouse. You can look right on the back here. And that says Microsoft Intel Mouse Explorer for Bluetooth. And go ahead and click Next. It'll take a few minutes to install the files. We should be good to go. Okay, as you can see, it installed the software required for it and placed a couple icons on the desktop. And next, it is telling us we need to restart our computer. So we're going to do that. What's going on? Oh, okay, we're back up and running. Computer's rebooted, and we logged on. The Bluetooth connection guide automatically pops up to help us connect this little Bluetooth adapter to both our keyboard and our mouse. Crystal will plug that in the back for us. And according to the manual, everything should pop up automatically. Let's give it a minute here.
okay after we plugged it in. Windows has installed the wireless transceiver. Let's click that. Next, it's telling us to install the batteries into the keyboard and the mouse. So we'll find the battery compartment back here. And this one takes three double A's. And the mouse just takes two. Locate, but do not press, the make slash break connection button. As you can see by this button here, not very easily pressable. And on the mouse, it's this little guy there. Okay, after we inserted the batteries, we click the following link. And we're supposed to click Bluetooth devices which is located down here in the system tray and we're supposed to add a Bluetooth device okay now we're supposed to press the button for five seconds using a pen helps then it says to select next on this wizard which is going to detect the mouse and install it. Alrighty. Here it shows the mouse ready to roll so we're going to click next on it and according to the instructions it says do not use a pass key. After we click next it's going to install the device and finish up here and we should be able to use it. And there we go. It's working. For the keyboard the same process we're going to click down here in the, the system tray on the Bluetooth icon and click add a device. But this time we're going to install a keyboard. And from here on out, I'll have Ben take care of the rest. Alright, so first we need to hold the button for five seconds so the device will be recognized. Next, we need to check the box. As my device is set up and ready to be found, click next. <coughs> and it's found the keyboard, so I need to select it, click next. And pick choose a passkey for me, click next. I need to type in the passkey number. Press enter. And the Bluetooth device has completed installing. Click finish. Okay, now we have our keyboard ready um, and installed, and uh, we have so many buttons that we can just have it go like my documents. Um, we can open your, my documents uh, from there and um, my music and also if you want to log on to the internet, yeah, it can be running also. And um, we also can set up our um, favorites uh, from one to five and, um, and you can show them also from show favorites. Now we have uh, like five of them installed already. so. If we can just go from there. Um, also, we have uh, mail. If you have any Outlook, uh, it's press up and running. You can check that also. I think that's pretty uh, almost all of it. And we have calculator. 
um, look after their own stuff, not gambling, so that's about it.